You might have already heard about an hour or so ago about monumental huge releases in the WWE. Now, I brought that to you here first. If you remember, if you watch Sean View, I like a lot of people saying that I'm always wrong. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm fake. I'm clickbait. But yet, if you go back in a video, my video that did about a week or so ago, and believe me, I do plenty of videos a day, plenty of updates. I did talk about Baron Corbin and how his contract was coming up and how he was probably going to be released. Well, what just happened an hour or so ago, Baron Corbin let go released along with a couple of uh, Indy Hartwell and Tegan Knox gone from the WWE and a shocking development. Obviously, the biggest shocker out of that is Baron Corbin. Remember to sign up to become a channel member today. Subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. Now, we got some backstage news as to why, as to why this happened. And we're going to break this down right now for you guys and Baron Corbin so underrated, so underutilized. The man should have at least been a one-time world champion. The man should have at least been a universal champion. The man should have at least, I'll even go one more, should have main evented one of the big four pay-per-views. But it just seemed like it wasn't in the card. Now, Indy Hartwell makes her first statement after her departure from the WWE. Also, the current internal word on plans for additional WWE departures. So these three departures with Baron Corbin and Indy Hartwell, we haven't seen the last. This may not be done just yet. It may not be a clean sweep just yet. Let's get right into it, guys. WWE saw three departures today. Baron Corbin, Indy Hartwell, and Tegan Knox. Not, leave, you, know, leave, you know, leaving the company. They are leaving the company. That naturally brought fans to wonder if more names will join that list. It was reported that Baron Corbin, Indy Hartwell, and Tegan Knox have departed from WWE. These were not noted as any sort of release, but details are still expected in the situation. Sean Rossap, who broke the news of the latest WWE patches, tweeted out, it shed a bit more light on the situation. While we are waiting on more details, it is apparent that WWE isn't going to see any more talent leave right now, but of course, plans can change. The claim within WWE is that the three departures, Indy Hartwell, Tegan Knox, and Baron Corbin, are the only ones leaving in this round. Well, is it going to be around two, around three, around four? For Hotwell and Knox, we're working to find out if their deals were coming up in 90 days or if their releases. These departures are a bit of a surprise, especially Indy Hartwell, who had been featured on WWE television alongside Candice LeRae in recent memory. Baron Corbin had already tweeted out to confirm his departure and thank those who supported him. WWE has seen a few surprising names depart from the company this year. Becky Lynch, Ricochet, Bobby Lashley, and more have bid WWE farewell. Farewell. Now we have three more names to add to that list. While we are waiting on new details about this last run of WWE patches and potentially more to come, it appears that fans shouldn't expect more names to get tacked onto the list as of yet, but of course, plans can change. Um, now we are looking at this. The rumors and the speculation are running rampant. Only time will tell if Knox, Hartwell, and Baron Corbin will end up in AEW because that is already the major speculation online. So ladies and gentlemen, you can only imagine what this is going to look like, what, what this is going to lead to. Also, Baron Corbin has also broke silence on his WWE tenure by saying, that's all she wrote, folks. It's been real, and I appreciate everyone who has supported me. And ladies and gentlemen, I mean, I'm shocked by this. You know, I, I am just completely shocked that Baron Corbin would go. But again, I did talk about this. I did bring this up. If you watch my previous videos, you would know that Sean Vitamin is definitely in the know about certain news and rumors and headlines in WWE. Whether I'm right, wrong, or indifferent, or I come halfway, the, the fact of the matter is, is I report it to you and I give it to you. Why? Because Sean Vitamin knows that you want the satisfaction, you want the details, you want it in depth. Also, ladies and gentlemen, backstage update on today's WWE departures. Ladies and gentlemen, don't, be cr don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. And that was tweeted out by one of the releasees in WWE. But ladies and gentlemen, simply, that is not all. Because in bonus material that we're going to give to you right here on the show, NXT champion turned main roster star. Andy Hotwell leaves WWE. Baron Corbin talks about it. 116-year-old footage of George Hackenschmidt wrestling surfaces online. WWE, we got breaking news on Crown Jewel. WWE Crown Jewel title winners to receive a championship ring and not the actual title. Also, in more breaking news, on the game Triple H. And remember to become a channel member today. 
Triple H Tease is bringing NXT to Saudi Arabia. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Montez Ford has had the following to say, WWE is my dream job, but it's frustrating. Also, we are also hearing right now, Kayla Braxton says no to WWE return after Samantha Irvin's exit. It looks like Hulk Hogan is aiming to form the MAGA Powers tag team with RFK Jr., also, it has been revealed, ladies and gentlemen, that tonight on SmackDown, as SmackDown is hearing live as we're doing this video, the SmackDown preview, Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton will team up to go against Imperium Morgan versus Stratton. Liv Morgan says that entering Korea will end if she becomes a mom. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on the matter. Also, we are receiving word right now, guys, the internal word. We got some backstage news as to why these releases happened, why this went down. Andy Hartwell's departure was the most unexpected. Obviously, it's also likely that Knox and Indy Hartwell will need to address visa matters to continue working in the U.S. WWE talent were informed of these cuts on November 1, and according to internal sources, there is reportedly, this is reportedly the extent of this round of releases. Which of WWE's most recent departures will do the most in pro wrestling after this? And will they head to AEW? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. And again, guys, Baron Corbin, he went through so many different characters, so many different gimmicks, and it just seemed like the WWE just didn't give a damn about him towards the end. And now this is under the Triple H era. This is under the Triple H regime. So everybody might be a little bit taken back, and you're going to wonder what is going to be the future of these three talents, and if there is more talents to be released you got to wonder who is going to be next on the chopping block. You know, the WWE says it's Thanksgiving time. It's going to be a November to remember. If you watch Sean, you will know that I said earlier today it will be a November to remember, and that's what I meant because I knew there were going to be releases later on today, and that is exactly what happened, but I didn't think it was going to be to the extent that we've seen them today because these are definitely three releases that you won't soon forget, especially Baron Corbin, again, who I feel had the rug pulled underneath him and a man that had such great character development. He had the charisma. He had the mic skills. He was a great bad guy. They turned him into a good guy. Probably the wrong situation, the wrong time. It shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't have went down. But you know the WWE is going to do what the WWE wants to do. But ladies and gentlemen, here on the Brash Brew, I said to you that November will be one to remember. And so far, if this is how we're going to kick it off, this is how it's going to go off on November the 1, 2024, you will not soon forget this day in any way, shape, or form. And viewers, fans, and subscribers, as they say, if it's not brash, well, then it's absolute trash, and it's never, ever going to last. But show me the table. We'll keep lasting because I am the one that will provide you with all your WWE needs. Why? Because Sean V. Tibbet knows that you give me the view, the click, the comment, the interaction, and that is exactly what we need on this very channel to keep on going. Subscribe today.